Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited to be back today with another video. Today, we're gonna break down what sold over the month of January. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and YouTuber, and so these are going to be numbers for everything that I sold on Poshmark, and I have some Recari sales this month as well, which is exciting. So I'm gonna break down everything for you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys how many things I sold, how much I sold them for, how much I paid for all of the things that I sold. We're gonna talk about all of my sales, we're gonna talk about my profit, we're gonna talk about how much I actually made at the end of the day, and hopefully this will help you guys too, if you guys are resellers, to know what it looks like to be a reseller. And even if you aren't a reseller, I think it's really interesting to see these sorts of money breakdowns and see how much people are making from what they're sharing with you guys online. So I think it's a really fun topic. It's a really fun video. So let's jump into my sales. And as always, I have notes on my phone. I'm also gonna be bringing out my computer. I'm gonna bring out the big guns for today's video because there's a lot of numbers here. And so let's start off with how much I sold. In total sales this month, January is notoriously a slow month for resellers. Um, my highest month of all time was right around 4,000 sales. This month we did $2,576 of sales. So both my husband and I have a Poshmark closet. We both have a Mercari. We just kind of find it to be a fun way to do it with our business. Majority of sales are coming from my Poshmark because I have you lovely people that buy things from me as well. And we just spend the majority of time focusing on my Poshmark. So most of the sales are coming from my Poshmark, but we did have a couple hundred dollars in sales on Mercari this month, right around 200, so not a huge amount. Most of this is definitely Poshmark. And then from that $2,500 sales number, our gross profit was $2,033.89. So that's the amount that we took home actually from Poshmark after they took their cuts away from what we sold. So that is a pretty good amount, $2,000 in what they actually gave to us but then we're gonna account for our cost of goods. So I thrifted everything that I resold. I don't do anything that I buy online and resell. I pick out pieces myself and I sold 76 items this month, which is actually kind of a low month. I'm right around usually 100 items sold a month. So that goes to show that January was a slower month. I sold 76 items for an average sales price of $33.89. I'm working slowly on getting that average sales price up. So for those 76 items, I only spent $157, which is amazing. My cost of goods are super low because I do majority of my sourcing at the Goodwill outlet, the bins. And I love shopping at the bins, it's so much fun. I've made many, many videos on the bins. You can go and watch any of them, but it is just the best place for me to find inventory because at the bins I'm paying per pound and not per item. So at a regular Goodwill, you pay five, $7 for a pair of pants or a shirt. At Goodwill Outlet, you're paying like maybe a dollar. And that's why my cost of goods are so low. So with that 157 to cost of goods, my net profit at the very end of the day is $1,876.89. Net profit was definitely down this month, but it is okay. This month has been slower for a lot of people. So if you guys are in that bow, you are not alone. I feel like I've been having a few slow months and I'm very excited to get back on to a good upward trend. So that is our overview numbers. Those are the numbers for everything I actually sold. I made, I spent $157 to make $1,876. I made, I over 10 x my money. So that's what we're hoping for. So now I grabbed my laptop. We are going to jump into my highest sales, the most interesting sales of the month. Of those 76 items that we sold, I decided to pull anything that sold for $50 or above to share with you guys. I feel like that will be the most helpful to help you guys know what things are most worth reselling. I think we have right about 16 items that sold for over $50, which is pretty good for us. That's a pretty good amount of our sales. So this very first thing is something that Jeremy sold and it is this Athleta Purina little like sweatshirt moment. I like thrifting Athleta. I love those pieces. It's really nice lounge wear, active wear, and this piece I found in the bins. So I paid about a dollar for it, and Jeremy sold this actually the last day of January for $72. And then we made $57.60 from Poshmark. That's what they gave us after they took their fees and shipping discounts and all that jazz. So that was a really good sale, especially since I found that in the bins. I love the bins, guys. 
This next thing that sold is this pair of Free People Drew collab jeans. Free People and Citizens of Humanity collabed on this. Jeremy actually sold this on his Mercari. So he sold this for $75. We actually got two different offers, I think, on these at the same time. Again, no interest for months, and then everybody wanted them all at once, which is great. Um, but since we sold them for $75 on Mercari, Mercari gives us a little bit more of our profit back to us. So we made $65.02 from that sale. So that was a great sale. I actually picked these up in a random Goodwill in Annapolis, Maryland. So I think I paid like $5 for those at the time. So $5 into $65 is not too shabby. Then the next sale that we had is this pair of Fly London little leather shoes. They were this nice pair of wedges and I found those in the bins. This is the first time I've ever found Fly London. Hi, Odie. My puppy's right here, he's so cute, I love him. This is my first time ever finding Fly London and I found them in the bins. So I paid probably about a dollar per shoe based on weight. And Jeremy sold those for $55 on Poshmark. So we made $42.50 from that pair of shoes, not too bad. I was hoping to get more than that, but these also were going into our dollar thrift challenge. So I was happy to take a good offer on those as quickly as I could. Now, a big seller for us, especially in December and now especially too in January, has been anything that's been Irish, like hand knit. Anything with Craig Dawn, I have sold over and over again. Anything with like Aaron Crafts, I've sold so many of those sweaters and they go really quickly for me. So this one was a vintage Craig Dawn Irish kind of chunky fisherman sweater. It was actually in a linen blend and usually I find these in wool blends, so that's interesting. Um, but we sold that for $58, which is not bad. And we made $46.40. And the reason why this was such a good sale is because I also found this in the bins. And I find these sweaters all the time in the bins and they get passed over all the time. So if you see these brands, you should definitely be picking them up unless I'm there in the bins with you and then you shouldn't pick them up so that I can pick them up. Okay, good, we're on the same page, love it. Okay, the very last thing that Jeremy sold is this pair of Nuitags leather Eileen Fisher shoes. I have been sitting on these for what it feels like months. I bought these and I thought they would go like that and they didn't, they sat around. They did sell for a good amount. I got these at a local Goodwill for $7 and they sold for $55. I think I had them listed at 75 for a couple months and we got a $55 offer. So we made $44 on those shoes. So $7 to $44, it's a pretty good return as well. And I thought those were really nice. So happy that somebody has them and they're going to a new home. Okay, and now we are moving on to the things that I sold on my Poshmark. And I feel like I did a little bit better than my husband this month. So let me know down below who you guys think did better after you see my sales after you saw his. But the first thing that I sold on my Poshmark is this Baltimore Ravens Nike collab puffer coat. And this was a goose down coat and it was listed for maybe a few days. I had it listed, I think at $120. Somebody offered me and then we whittled down an answer to 85. I thought that was totally fine, especially since this was part of my dollar thrift challenge. I wanted to keep that moving. So $85 sale, we made $68. And I got this at a buy sell trade store with trading credit from things that I'd picked up in the bins that were like forever 21 pieces. I love thrifting that way. And I love using cheaper items to get more expensive items at buy sell trade stores. It's a lot of fun. Then this next piece might be my highest sale of the month. And it's actually something that I haven't shared yet with my Dollar Thrift Challenge people. So if you're watching, you're getting a sneak peek. And it is this pair of Ariat boots. It's this new tag pair of Ariat boots I found at another buy, sell, trade store that I used in-store credit to buy. So I got these, they were supposed to be like 10 bucks. It was something crazy. I got these and sold them for $105. And then we made $76.55 on that pair of boots which is an amazing sale. And this is my first time picking up Ariat. I was a little worried that they were just gonna sit for a while, but I was happy with the speed in which they sold. So that is a sale that I'm very grateful for and those have been out the door, so hopefully they're loving them. This next piece is something that learned from me on because I loved this sweater. This is a sweater that I found in the bins, I think in Portland, in Oregon. And it had like a little stain on the sleeve, but I like rubbed it out. I washed it out. I got the stains out. This 100% cashmere sweater from Vince. It was beautiful. 
and a lot of my Vince pieces I feel like have just been sitting but because my other Vince pieces have been sitting I originally listed it just at $75 and I sent an offer to a liker right away I got a like within like the first minute I sent them an offer for $67 and then I went and looked up and I found a stock photo of it found some other listings for the same thing on Poshmark selling for like $120 so I raised my price to $100 or $120 but since I had already sent out that $67 offer to a liker, I decided to honor that. They accepted my offer, so I was like, you know what? That's totally fine. I'm still happy with it. I bought it for a dollar. We sold it for $67, and I made $52.10. So I still made over $50 on that piece, but I probably could have made a little bit more if I would have done a little bit more research and looked up comps really well before I listed it. So that piece, absolutely gorgeous. I love that sweater so much. I'm really happy that somebody picked it up right away, but maybe because I raised the price, maybe that's what sold it, who knows? So that's that piece. And then the next piece that sold is this Burton coat. So this is a snowboarding jacket, it's a dry ride piece. And this was only listed for a few days as well. And it sold for $65. So $65 and then we made 52 after everything was said and done. And that is another piece I picked up at a buy sell trade store with in-store credit. Gotta love using cheap things to buy better things. It's the way to go, I swear. And then next up is this Patagonia Better Sweater. And I love selling Patagonia. I pick them up all the time. If I find them in the bins, I swipe them up. If I find them at buy sell trade stores, if they're reasonable, I swipe them up. It just always is a consistent seller for me and they sell for over $50. So this Patagonia, this one sold for 55. Again, this is part of my dollar thrift challenge, so I wanted to keep it moving. So we made $44 at the end of the day. So all profit there. And then we get into my Mercari sales. And I sold four things on Mercari this month. I went from selling nothing on Mercari to selling four things this month, which is amazing. And three of those four things that I sold were all over $50. So Mercari has actually been treating me kind of well. If you guys like Mercari, let me know why down below. I personally, I have preferred Poshmark, but I don't know, Mercari kind of gave me some good sales this month, so let's break those down. So the first thing I sold on Mercari was this pair of Tory Burch flats. These were the Riva flats. Again, I got these at an Uptown Cheapskate. I think I paid like maybe $12 for these. And then we sold them on Mercari for $53. So $53, we made $45.86. And then I also sold on Mercari this pair of Hello Kitty Converse. So these were super cute. I got a lot of interest in these shoes, but they finally sold over on Mercari. They sold for $98. And so we made $85.06. You really can't beat the amount of money you get back from Mercari compared to Poshmark. Like I feel like I am losing so much money when I sell things on Poshmark. It's really sad, but the Hello Kitty Converse sold for $98. I found those at a Plato's Closet near the bins that I go to. This is the only thing I picked up that day. I think I spent, I spent up on those. I think I spent like 20 bucks, but I had like a coupon, so it was worth it. It cost me 20 bucks to buy them, but then I made 85, so I really made like 65 bucks on that flip and they were only up for about a week or two. So I still think that was worth it. And then the last thing that I sold on Mercari was this Christian Dior blazer. Now, I've had a lot of you guys tell me when I picked this up in a thrift haul that a lot of Dior things have sat for you. If that's the case, I would suggest trying to list it on something like Mercari or on eBay. See if that moves it for you. That happened for me at least. We did get some interest on Poshmark, but it did sell on Mercari for $60. So for $60, very happy with that. My husband found that Dior blazer at a local Goodwill. We spent $5 on it. And then we made $51.96 from that sale on Mercari. So I was happy with those sales for sure. But then back into what I sold on Poshmark because there's more of those to come. The next sale I had that was over $50 on Posh is this vintage 1989 Silk and Angora Blend Grapevine sweater. This has been sitting for a while. I got this at a dollar day sale in Pennsylvania and it has sat for a while. I just took the right buyer at the right time but I did sell it for $50 and we made $40 from Poshmark taking its fees. So we spent a dollar, we made 40, $39 of net profit. I'm happy with that. It was a very unique piece. Like it was super cool, but it's gonna be a hard thing to wear unless you can figure out how to style it. So I'm hopeful that they are loving that. They seem to love it. They gave me a five-star review, so that's great. 
And then the next thing that sold is this vintage pair of Disney Eeyore jeans. I thought these were so cute. I found two pairs, one with Eeyore and one with Tinkerbell at my local Goodwill and each one was $5. So I grabbed them both and this one sold for $50. From that $50, it was an outright sale, so we made $40. So $40, I spent $5, $35 net profit. And vintage Disney, Disney in general is just something I personally love. I love to pick up vintage Disney and resell it. It does well for me, generally speaking. So especially Eeyore, I feel like does a lot better than other Disney characters. Like the Tinkerbell is still sitting and I have lowered that price actually. So I guess it just it kind of depends on the vintage Disney, but I have sold quite a few pieces even this month and some of them for about $35 usually, but these were a really cool piece, so they sold for more. And then we have two more pieces that sold in January for $50 or more. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you like these sit down and just discuss the numbers videos. And if you're not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. But the next thing that sold is this pair of Jeffrey Campbell black Cromwell distressed leather booties. These were in a size 11. I found these at a local Goodwill. I spent, I think $12 on these, which is paying up for me but I did sell them for $50. So we made $40. We only made like $28 at the end of the day, but it was still worth it in my opinion. And I actually just saw my friend Marcy Chick. She picked up a pair of these in one of her bins and I was really jealous. That's gonna be a good sale for her, I hope. And then my very last thing that sold in January for over $50 was this Lululemon Down For A Run Puffer Vest. And if you guys missed it in my pack with me, ship with me video, I shared about this over there as well. But I have found that the Lululemon vests do really well and they have a resale value of around like $100, which is amazing. So I found that at a local buy sell trade store, I got it with in-store credit, it was amazing. And if I would find one, even for like 20 bucks, I'd probably pick it up again and then just wait to get more than $80. This one I sold for $80, we made $64. So a lot of profit there for us. But if I found one for 20, I'd probably still pick it up and just wait to get more for it. I thought that was a really good sale. Jackets and puffers and down pieces do really well from Lululemon. And this was a puffer and it was down. So that did really good for us. And that was such an amazing, fun sale. This month was an interesting month for sure to be a reseller. I felt like it was just a slower month in general. I also got so many low ball offers this month. Sometimes it felt like, way too much of a low ball kind of month. I don't know if that was just me, but it was like constant this month, I felt like. But it was a very interesting time to be a reseller, that's for sure, but it's a fun time. It's a fun month, it's a fun life. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love it if you guys wanna share your numbers down below too. How much did you guys sell this month? I wanna celebrate with you guys. I think it's fun to see how everybody else is doing with their businesses as well. Let's root for each other, watch each other grow. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.